ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡ್ಲಾ There are big chunks of coconut in that. So that's what you're biting into. And then of course, crunch of the onions. What do you want to eat? 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 I love the way that paddu is cooking. Huh? Same dosa batter, but because of the manner in which it is fried, roasted, it acquires an entirely different personality. You've got a dice of the pineapple that's dipped in that chickpea batter and then deep fried. And then once it emerges, they slice it open horizontally and then they add some of the puri on it along with a bit of the chutney and then they sprinkle over some of that. Hi folks this is Kripal Amana Gourmet on the road and you're watching Food Lovers TV. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and strong. We've come to Bengaluru's popular street food spot which is VV Puram Food Street also known as Tindi Bidi. Now I haven't visited here for the last 2 years. We did a couple of episodes but that was 3 years ago. and i don't know how life has changed here post pandemic so this evening we had some time i thought we would take a stroll along vv puram food street and find out if things have changed and of course most importantly taste some of the interesting things that thindi bidi has to offer long time how are you good to see you The last time we met, we met right there, huh? Yeah, Avre Mela was going. Avre on. Mela was going on. We we tasted all the possible delicacies that oh, can be made of Avre Kalu. Yeah. Well, I'm with Swati, whose mother is the force behind Sri Vasavi Condiments. Correct. Yes. And amongst the many things that they do, they're also very popular for their annual Avre Bele Mela. So, in fact, we have an episode on the Avre Bele Mela here, which is about two years ago, pre-pandemic. So if you haven't caught that definitely take a look. So today I've enlisted Swati's help to walk along Tindi Bidi. Yes. And see what has changed, what has not changed and hopefully we'll also do some eating. Yes, definitely. You are in Tindi Bidi. <laughs> We are on Tindi Bidi so you have to do some tasting and I think we'll make a beginning with BB Bakery. Yes. What are your favorites here? My favorite is that om biscuit, the stick what you get. Om kalu is what we call in Kannada that is put in that biscuit so it's very good for digestion. Ah the ajwain. Yes. Damrot is the most famous here. Which is available which is, only on the weekends. Correct. Damrot is limited also so you ah. have to come first come first service you have to come up. Namaskara. Chala. Ek idhar chana ki idhar. Naan chana ki idhar. Well, there is one solitary kadle kai that has peeped out, that has snuck out. So we tried this the last time too. You did? Yeah, I did. But you know, when you come to VB Bakery, this is a must. I think the KBC, the not the corn banega crore, but you know, I think I made this stupid joke the last time too. Please excuse me. I tried this as well, but this is the khara bun Congress. The bun is the khara bun, which is a spicy bun. As you can see, studded with all sorts of things. There's some curry leaf that I can definitely see. and within that you have the peanuts the shenga and these are the spiced peanuts also known as the congress kadle, kadle kai the kadle bija yeah. and there is a reason why they call it the congress kadle kai i've spoken about it at length in a couple of other videos including the last vb bakery video and there is also another video that we did on the srinivasa brahmins bakery congress kadle kai in that i have talked about it in detail as well you will find links in the description below Well that's a mouthful time to get a real mouthful The first thing that you get is the flavor of the curry leaf hello correct the curry leaf there's also a bit of spicing in that green there's chili there's onions in the bun and the onions are toasted yeah and then the peanuts you know the kbc to be honest is 
the sort of big treat that you will either love or you may not get it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 17 kilometers, Ati Nagar, for this bun. The special bun. Ah, must be very good. You know, thing with places like these, BB Bakery has been around since 1954. So that is about 68 years. Over a period of time, they have built loyal customers who come in for specific items. Like this gentleman that we just met, he comes here all the way from Ati Nagar just for his uh, special bun. That he takes a big packet of each time he visits here. Plenty of butter, no? Yeah. That pure butter. butter. Pure butter. You even get this uh, bun butter jam, mm. which is also very famous here. I tried it the last time. What else are we tasting now? Uh, something sweet. Yeah, let's try something sweet. Honey cake. The honey cake, yes. Why not? Two by four, Madi. Not too sweet. So I really like it. You can see that trail of honey that is left behind on that paper. You know, so when it comes to the honey cake, I think every bakery has its own way of making the honey cake. There are some bakeries who say that the honey cake actually is a derived word from the queen's cake, which became a rani cake. And then because it was a soft, moist sort of a cake, it came to be known as a honey cake. But In a place like BB Bakery, they say 80% of the sweetening that goes into that is the honey. honey. So I think every place has a different way of making it. I've also tasted this in some bakeries where they add a bit of jelly yeah, on top. Yes, correct. A bit of the jam on top. Color. Basically, that acidity of that fruit preserve cuts the sweetness of the sugar. You can see that that cake has stuck to that paper, burdened with all that honey. I can definitely taste the desiccated coconut in that. Correct. Yeah. I think they use a desiccated coconut, so it stays for longer. It stays for longer. Mm. Correct. Yeah. What's also nice, like Swati mentioned, it isn't too sweet. It isn't too uh, sweet. Yeah. It isn't too if sweet. If it is only sugar syrup, I think the sweet sweetness would be more. Yeah. Just because it's eighty percent honey, I think that's why it's rightly sweetened. And I think honey also adds a certain earthiness to that sweetness, so it's not cloyingly sweet correct. like a gulab jamun would yes. be. And I also like that whisper of a bite that you get from the coconut. Now, yeah. towards the very end, once you're done devouring the sponge, you've got some coconut that remain that you can grind down between your yes. teeth, and that's yes. the last flavor that you get out of this. Here, capsicum bunkula, onion bunkula, onion bun, hmm. onion bun, onion bun taste made la. Idhen onion bun na. So idhen le olege ani niruli idhen. Olege. Palya idhen. Palya. I like your videos. You like my videos. Thank you very much, sir. You know what's interesting about this uh, palya inside is that there is no arshina pudi, there's no turmeric, so it basically retains the natural color, the translucent hue of the onion. And I think there is also some kothmiri there, yeah. some coriander, some uh, curry leaves are there in that. I can even see some coconut, raw coconut. Ah, so alba kai kuda ida idrali. Hmm. There are big chunks of coconut in that, so that's what you're biting into, and then yeah. of course the onions. Slightly sauteed, so it's crunchy. Hmm, there's a soft crunch of the onions. They haven't been sauteed to the extent where the sugars in them have concentrated, so you're still tasting a bit of the savoury sort of character of the onion, and then also plenty of uh, as you mentioned, kai. I love the crunch of that kai. This isn't a bakery item that I've tasted in any bakery in Bengaluru yet. Perhaps they must be making, but this is rather special. You know, it's nice to go somewhere, a place that's been around for the last 68 years, thinking that you know everything that they have to offer, and suddenly you come up with onion bun. Onion bun looks rather simple, but is rather comforting in the manner. Yeah. It touches your taste buds. What's nice in this bun is that all the components are chopped rather coarsely. Yes. So when you bite into that onion, that you get the full-on flavor of the onion. When you bite into that chili, you get the full-on spicy heat of the chili. And now I bit into what I thought was a fleck of peanut, but turned out to be ginger, as Swati mentioned, and that rewards you with its taste. Yeah. It with its warmth. Yeah. Fantastic.
So it'll be something to try. Yes. The onion bun. Is this the taste? Oh, almond stick. This is my favorite. Hmm, it's quite nutty. Nutty. You've, you've tasted this uh, chocolate, nutties, mm. this Cadbury's. The inside part, it tastes exactly. It tastes like, like a praline. Yeah, correct. Mm. These are nuts, though. mixed nuts, I do, and uh, sugar nali. Fantastic. This is not traditional. There's a lot of new places new that I see, right? Yeah. Pizza even. Yeah. And there's Chinese Square. There is Chinese Square. There is 99 Pure coffee, variety dosa. 99 variety dosa. There's Momos too now. Yeah. Momos and Dabeli, Tawa Palav, Samosas. It's been around for a while? No, this recent started after the pandemic. So I think a lot of the stores that couldn't hold on, they yeah. sold out, Yeah, they it? sold out and new people have come in. ಕೊಡ್ಬಳೆ <laughs> <laughs> Sir, sir. Mr. Murugan, thank you very much. Busy there. Tumba busy there. Tumba busy there. Busy there, Maja. How do? Taste better. When you taste something hot, busy busy here, Beko. Very hot. Mm. And then try mm. The chutney is tangy The chutney is tangy mm. though It's not a limbe hai, no? But I think what's nice here Is that that kodu bade on the outside is quite crisp there Or like a sulpa antu tarai there There's a slight so. stickiness to it on the inside There's also a bit of tartness That I think comes from curd. the curd From the buttermilk so the gentleman they told me they do a buttermilk with the curd and the water, water in a one is to one ratio and then they add another part of the rice flour and then they cook that along with some of the spices that go in whether it's a cumin maybe there's some curry leaves that go in yeah there's some green chilies as well a little bit Dingo and then jeera. There. jeera yes and then they cook it and then they fashion a dough out of it so i'm definitely tasting a bit of that sourness of that yogurt, of that buttermilk. Here we go. Here we go. That's why the curd is added. Let's taste it now with that chutney. Tastes better. Kara is there. Chutney kara is there. Sakat kara is there. So chutney is a combination. Salpa kara is there, putani is there, green chilli, salpa ugarne is there, sasve is there. Let's taste some of that. Early kai. Belluli good either. There's some garlic that I can taste in that. Oh, that's a potent chutney. This oh, spicy, no, flavorful. I think along. Ragi Kali is there. Ragi Kali. 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 This is a chutney and a ragi mudde aathara ve thin bodo. Bisi anna mele idu haakidre solpa? Ghee, tuppa. Haakidre ashte saak mutton gitan in beda. I think he's a vegetarian. 
But then we are on Tindi Bidi, which is a vegetarian destination in itself. Let's taste that now with that chutney. Mm. Sour, spicy, the punchiness of the garlic, plenty of red chilies too that probably go into that. I can taste that raw heat of the chilies in that. But it's a sort of heat, it's a sort of pain that can very easily become an addiction. Because yes. you go for one tiny lick of it, <laughs> you want to go for the second one. Actually, big fan. Oh, thank you very much. I'm so happy to meet you. all your videos. Nice. What's your name? My name is Ashwini. 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 I follow you on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, and I follow all videos. Whatever you suggest. Everywhere, bro. please. Yeah, yeah almost. almost. He is covering. Fantastic. <laughs> all the nice. What's also nice is that as it cools down, it becomes harder. harder. Huh? So when it is hot, crispy there, olega solpa ante there, but as it as it cools down, muruku tarai hai to texture, huh? Solpa half to koli. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, see, it is as hard as that. Ooh, olega nu sahi the, ante the. It is stretchy on the inside. This is a sort of snack. On plate the koli, I think you may have to return the plate. Yeah. Kindly, it too, you can walk the entire Tindi Bidi. With this chutney? With this chutney. Mm. Come. <laughs> I don't I see a lot of people walking around with the twisties. Yeah. I think that seems to be... Honestly, I feel a little sad. <laughs> I would rather that people be walking with this kodu <laughs> as yeah. opposed to that potato on a stick. But anyways, you know, at the end of the day, it's what the people love, love. to eat. So it's a mix. I mean, maybe traditional South Indian as well. With this like vada pav and everything is added. So it's a mixed thing right now after pandemic, there's a lot of additions. So what people want to eat, I think is their choice. So tell me, has there been an addition or have some of the older players not been able to sustain so they have sold their spots? Yes, so that's what happened after. during the pandemic. A lot of people couldn't sustain, so a lot of shut down okay. and new people have entered. And I think now they probably oh, it should okay. do better now. But the one thing that I realize is that the older places perhaps don't have the kind of signages that the newer places have. So therefore, I think the older places like the one that we went to, the Arya Vaisya refreshment where we enjoyed that Kodu Bale, I think they have relatively become a little more tucked in. Correct. So you got to seek them out. So this is your store? This is my store from here. So are you the biggest store on uh, yeah. So actually there are two, two stores, two of buildings combined. There's one that side. So there's three. Fantastic. Oh, you could have Ambur Biryani, Martha. Ambur Mushroom Biryani. Mushroom Biryani. Ella kade mushroom is a trend. Aage de ga, huh? Instagram open by the Bari, a mushroom biryani. There they are, Tinta, a general Bari, mushroom biryani. So that mushroom biryani, Jate, they give you this Padne uh, Kai Gojju. In that Ambur style. You know, that's what is famous. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> this is something new. Have you ever tried that? Pizza Pani Puri? I've tried it in Bangar Pet. Oh, is it? Okay. Pizza Pani Puri, if you ever want to try that. Maruti Chart Center, Bangar Pet Charts. I've tried it in Bangar Pet. So if you haven't got that episode yet, Ramesh Chit Chat Center, I'm going to place a link in the episode below where we tasted. Of course, the original Bangar Pet Pani Puri and also something called a Pizza Pani Puri. The mind boggles, but yes, there is a Pizza Pani Puri. Can we taste the... Paddu. Paddu, ha. Ah, let's go for the Paddu. Iruli, Sabakshi, Sabakshi. Hasi mentioned kai Sabak paste. Sabakshi is sabse ke sabpo, dil. Correct. Hasi mentioned kai paste. Paste. Ado, hasi mentioned kai paste nimdo akki roti ke liku da ho gita hai la. Ha, so that's why akki roti hai remember, so pa greenish. Greenish, ha. 
ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಹಿಟ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಉದ್ದಿನ ಬೇಳೆ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ I love the way that paddu is cooking. Same dosa batter, but because of the manner in which it is fried, roasted, it acquires an entirely different personality as opposed to the dosa. Yeah, different taste also. Different taste as well. You've got more surface area <laughs> that yeah. is crisp and crisp and yes. Uh, and then also the other things that they add to embellish the flavors of that dosa batter. So this is also what we call paniyaram. Paniyaram in, in Tamil. Tamil. And here it's called the paddu. In Telugu, it's called Gunta Panganalu. Ah, Gunta Panganalu. Between the Paddu, the Paniyaram, and the gu Gunta, Gunta Panganalu. Gunta Panganalu. I can already feel my tongue going into a bit of a twist. <laughs> I think every time you come here, you're learning one new word. You know, that's the thing with food. <laughs> food, right? yeah. Through food, you bridge to the people behind the food, and then you automatically bridge to the conversation, and therefore the language, and therefore the some new words and phrases, which is so fascinating. So when you're exploring food, it's not just what you put in your mouth, but it's also what you soak up in terms of the culture. Yes, correct. You know that's yeah, what's yeah. fascinating about food. What the green chili in it? Green chili. Huh? Green chili. Ah, there's some steam that's escaping that paddu. That paddu is crunchy on the outside, and the flavor of the onions. Inside it is a little uh, sticky, huh. and outside it is crispy. Hmm. What I like is the sweetness of the onion that comes through. Huh? Right. Hmm. Yeah, big sliver of the onion. Yeah. Mm. The onions are cut a little bigger. Hmm. And sabzi ke zappo in that. So what's interesting is that because of the manner in which it is cooked, there is a greater surface area of that paddu that is crispened. So the contrast that it presents to that almost gooey inside, inside is yeah. quite interesting. And I think also what happens is when it's busier. Maybe the heat that that tawa generates is more. More, yeah. Huh? It cooks faster. It cooks faster, and maybe it also cooks through. Through the yeah. A little the more, dough, yes. yeah. Let's taste it now with that chutney. Oh, there's some coriander as well in the paddu. Yes. Ah, uh, and I think what they do is they use the coriander stalks. Coriander stalks, yes. Correct. Yeah. So there's also a bit more flavour hit that I'm tasting in that. Let's taste it with that chutney. Yeah, definitely taste some mix of that putani in that. Hmm. Fried gram and. Uh, Fried gram. Coconut and. But definitely more of the graininess of the putani that you're tasting in that. I want to taste that kempu chutney. There's two. There's one kempu chutney, one is shunti chutney. Oh, these are two different two chutneys. Two different chutneys, yes. So this is kempu, this is shunti. Shunti, yes. So which one should I taste first? Both. I mean, anything your choice. Let's taste the kempu. Not very spicy. Yeah. No. More of the flavor of the the red chili. Red chili. Mm. Kempu chutney is red chili and. But it's not the kem. It's not the chili powder. It's the roasted red roasted chili. Roasted red chili. That's the flavor that I'm tasting in that. Kai there. Kai there. Huh? And salt, tomatoes. Hmm. That's where the sourness Sarnes, comes from. Yes. Salt, pa, do hunsen na kira. Hunsen. Hmm. So that's the interesting thing when you order a plate of these paddus. The paddu, of course, you get five of them, and each one of them tastes similar. But when you present it either to the green chutney or that kempu chutney or that ginger chutney, as I will taste now, you get a different flavor profile in every bite. Yeah. This is good. Even last time I remember, I quite enjoyed your red chutney. Yeah. Hmm. In this, I can definitely taste the ginger, ginger warmth. Ginger more. But what I'm tasting also is a bit of the earthiness. Do you also incorporate the ginger peel in that? Uh, no, it's. Uh, you, of course, I'm, I'm sure you clean the ginger clean and the then ginger, you grind it. Grind it, yes. But before grinding, do you peel it completely? No, we don't peel you it. You don't completely. peel it. Ah. 
Therefore, along with the warmth of the ginger, I'm also tasting a bit of the earthiness. Fantastic. The green chutney is like what you would typically taste, but I think the red chutney is what is most popular. Popular, yes. And I think that's the reason why they also ration the red chutney. <laughs> red chutney side me leer thare. The green chutney is to make a thokar bado. Red chutney special access. Aa kar deyre. Have one more. It's yours only. <laughs> Yeah, I like the shunti chutney better. Ah. When it comes busy, busy, awa ka sir pa antu jasti rote. Ah. Because it has trapped all the moisture inside. Correct. I think the roasting of the patu on the outside traps all the gooeyness, all the moisture of that batter on the inside. And once you break open that patu and you allow some air to pass through it, that gooeyness. Disappears. Disappears. Yes. Mm. That's my first bite. I thought it was a little too. too. Yeah, uncooked. Uncooked. But Eva ka, I can taste it in the manner that I would expect the paddu to taste. Chala ki thera. Last time we learned no budget taste. Maine thala more varsha hinde. Eva thi thea pineapple thea. Thea pineapple. Ah, have you tried the pineapple? No, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? No, I haven't. Let me introduce you to something here at Hindi <laughs> Bidi. Yes. Now pineapple bhaji here at Sri Swami Bhaji Center. Okay. Last time that capsicum try made the, raw banana try made the, mirchi try made the, uti mirchi, correct? Ah. Yes sir. Uti mirchi try made the, bread try made the, pineapple bhaji try made the, alu ponda try made the. I think we will taste the pineapple bhaji again. Again. You got no. to look at the older episodes just to get a sense of what this very interesting food street of V V Puram, Bengaluru has to offer. This is Rave Vade, Allah. What is this? That is the this. This is the Goli Bajji type, ha? Ah, that is the Mangalore Bajji, Goli Bajji. That is the Capsicum Bonda. This is all got to do with you, Nange. Ah, Nimga sir, and sir, Manjuna, Manjuna, correct. Nimga sir, who? Ganesha. Appa Maga. Appa Maga. Okay, I thought uh, brothers can't do it, ha? Why are you can't do it, sir? New. Thank you, sir. This is the Rave Vade. This is the chutney. What is the chutney? It's Pudina. It's Pudina chutney. Okay. I want to try this. Rave Vade. Oh, on the outside, it's quite biscuity. Huh? I love that uh, crispy texture of that. Rave Vade. Good. I'm tasting this for the first time. Yeah. On the inside, the texture is that of sajji ke. Uh -huh. Correct. So, uh -huh. if you're eating a sajji ke upitu, if that upitu has been deep fried, so it has a bit of that, uh, it's clumped together. Inside. Yes. On the inside, but on the outside, quite crispy. Bari sajji ke olege. I wear it in all. Andre, this niruli de, beso pu de. Mirchi de. Andre, andre sab the mirchi. Mirchi de. Ginger rak dera. Ginger rak alla. Mm. More of onion and uh, curry leaves ka taste here. Yeah. What's interesting is the onion on the inside is yeah, still soft, yeah. has a slight sweetness to it. So the coconut could I there. And the onion that's on the outside has crispin. Crispin, yes. So that that's has a, a different taste. That has a different taste, a different texture. Right. Mm. Like a simple thing like a sajji ke bhaji or a rave bhaji but conveys so much. Chutney again there. Chutney is spicy a little oh. and more of pudina taste. But I like the vada without the chutney. Tasty. Mm. You like capsicum curry? Super is Last time taste mm. Bande pineapple ke, beti aaye tu sajji ke inda. Ha sajji ke vada uti ke. I love that bite of the onion. Yeah. Onion kuda solpa dhor dhor uti the, solpa coconut kuda idhe. Coconut is. Capsicum on though. Yeah, that's what I like about these places. 
they leave the ingredients slightly large in its size. So when you bite into it, you get the taste. Of you it. get that immediate punch. Andre, you don't have to go searching for that uh, onion. That onion will meet you with a sucker punch right there and there. Hmm? You're right. I think this you can eat it just by itself. Just by itself. Without it. Chutney ali solba hunse and noy deya. Chutney ali solba hunse and noy deya. There's a bit of charness that you taste in that chutney. Are you the pineapple? That is the pineapple bhaji happening. Fantastic. Operation hai tha, pineapple bhaji to. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a pineapple bhaji. And what is important here is this ingredient. This is masala new tayar marte dala. There is some kempu mention kai bere jiri ge ene ne hokta the eshtu bage hogete idralli sumar bage hogete so this is basically the key so every bhaji that goes out of here they do a bit of an operation where they slice it open sprinkle that powder and then they also add the freshness of some carrot some onion that goes on it bisi ide ha bisi ide are you ready to taste the Yes, waiting to. Please go, since you're tasting it for the first, first time. First time. And you're introducing me to something new Correct. on Food Street. I'm introducing <laughs> you to something in your own backyard. <laughs> exactly. Go for it. Okay, it's too hot. That's yum. Okay, this is uh, something new. Yeah. Maybe I should do this every day. <laughs> You've got a dice of the pineapple that's dipped in that chickpea batter and then deep fried. And then once it emerges, they slice it open horizontally and then they add some of the puri on it along with a bit of the chutney and then they sprinkle over some of that onion. Yum, that is so... Oh. What I love, the sweetness of the pineapple, because it has been subjected to heat in that boiling bath of oil, the sweetness of the pineapple gets concentrated. So the sourness of the pineapple you're tasting only at the very edge, but it's mostly that slightly tart sweetness of the pineapple that you taste. And then the batter is a little bready in its texture. It is not as crisp Crispy, because, yeah. because I think you've got a lot of the moisture in the pineapple that seeps into the batter. So the batter is no longer crisp like some of the other bhajis that you would taste, like the rave bhaji that we tasted. So the batter is a bit soggy, it's a bit bready. But it serves well to contain that slice of pineapple with it. I thought it would be too sweet, but it's not. I mean, because maybe it is fried and then they've added that masala. Yeah. The sweetness has come a little lower and it's a completely different taste. It's really nice. One more? Yeah, usually bhaji is something uh, usually spicy, but this is both spicy yeah. and sweet. But I think it also depends on what season yeah. that the pineapple, pineapple is sourced in. So perhaps I think summers would be best. Mm. Maybe the last time when I tasted this, I tasted a lot more sweetness. Sweet. There's also a bit of tartness that I'm tasting also I think in that masala. Because of the masala, yes. Oh, the masala is new, lemon salt dark there. So lemon salt dark there. So there's a bit of saltiness, there's a bit of tangy, tangy sort of saltiness yeah. that you taste in that lemon salt that goes into that masala pudding. 
and the onions and carrots do well to refresh the palate with the coriander of course house gurudev eating house yeah so we've tasted the bhaji now it's time to taste some last time i tasted an idli here what yeah. else do they do they do onion dosa onion dosa and masal dosa as well but uh, onion dosa is really famous here if you'd like to support the work that we do at food lovers tv do consider joining our membership community on youtube by hitting the join button below or on the home page You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on a Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.